Okay. In this in this uh, lecture, we will discuss partial molar quantities. So we consider a simple uh, non-deactive binary mixers. So, we consider a binary mixer simple binary mixer we will consider ok. So, of two liquids suppose a and B and A and B they are non electrolytes usually huh? we consider non electrolytes. So, in our system there is no ions ok. So, we can write N A or X A mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B equals to 1 ok. So, to understand uh, the concept of partial molar quantities the easiest property one can visualize is, 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 is volume right ok. The easiest property to visualize for, for partial molar quantities The easiest property to visualize is volume. Volume V. So, if we mix liquid A and liquid B we can or we will have three different possibilities ok. So, so if we mix A and B we, we will have three possibilities. Right. What are those possibilities? Possibility 1 is no volume change or suppose we are mixing 10 ml of A and 10 ml of B and if the total volume is 20 ml then effectively there is no volume change in that sense that ok the we are getting the expected volume. So, we get no total volume change ok. Then we can have also volume contraction. And the third possibility is volume dilation. So, these are the three possibilities one can have. So, in the first case suppose as I as I discussed in the first case, first case means there is no volume change if we mix 10 ml of A and 10 ml of substance or liquid B and if we get 
और टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ ट्वेंटी एम एल देन वी कैन से दैट देर इज नो इफेक्टिव वॉल्यूम चेंज ओके एंड इन दैट केस द इंटरक्शन द ए बी इंटरक्शन बिटवीन ए एंड बी आर इक्वल टू ए ए इंटरक्शन ए एंड बी बी इंटरक्शन But 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 unfortunately that is not going to happen for uh, all the cases. Okay, but this does not happen always, right? As I said. Okay. So you get either volume contraction or you get volume dilation. Okay. For example. The molar volume of water is eighteen centimeter to the three. We know it. We know that, right? That the molar volume of water is eighteen centimeter to the three, and the molar volume of ethanol. Is fifty-eight centimeter to the three. Okay, now if we add, so if we add, if we add one mole of water in large volume. Of ethanol, then what do we expect? We expect the volume should increase by eighteen centimeter to the three. But what we get if we add one mole of water in large volume of ethanol, we get an increase in volume of. Fourteen centimeter to the three, right? So it says that the partial molar volume of water for that composition mixer huh, is. Fourteen centimeter to the three. So now we will discuss partial molar volumes. Remember, partial molar volume depends on composition. If composition changes, molecular environment will change, and partial molar volume. Will also change. Okay, so the partial molar volume, as I said, the partial molar volume changes with composition. Because molecular environment molecular environment also changes okay 
Okay. So, the partial molar volume is defined by, so the partial molar volume can be defined volume of a substance is defined by V i right, uh, is del V by del n i at constant pressure, temperature and keeping the composition of other number of moles of other component fixed. Okay. So, once we know the partial molar volume of both the components in the mixer. we can calculate the total volume right we can calculate total volume like v is n a times v a plus n v times v b okay so n a is the number of moles of uh, uh, com component a or liquid a and n b is the number of uh, moles of liquid B. Okay. Now, how we can calculate partial molar quant volume? Let us we see it. Yeah. Okay, so we have V is N A times V A plus N B times V B, right? and N A plus N B is the total number of moles and if we say it is N, then you can write V by N A So, you can write V M is x a times v a plus x b times v b. Okay. So, where x a and x b are the mole fractions of component a and component b respectively and v m is the molar volume total molar volume. So, v m is the total molar volume. and x a is the mole fraction of component a mole fraction of a and x b is mole fraction of b. Okay, now, if we differentiate we get on differentiating we get dvm okay on differentiating we get dvm is okay and then we can write dvm by dxb is V B minus V A and then we can write V B is V A 
plus dvm by dx b. Okay. Now, if we substitute this vb, then we get vm is x a times v a plus x b we get this ok. So, v m is x a times v a plus x b times v a plus d v m by d x b ok. And then we can simply modify and then we get v m is x a times v a plus v a times 1 minus x a okay, plus x b times d v m by d x b. Okay. So, x b we can write this is because as x b is nothing but 1 minus x a right because we consider binary mixture ok. So, what we get? So, finally, we get finally we obtain v m is v a plus x b d v m by d x b ok. So, we get finally this equation ok. So, now if we plot ok. So, molar volume V m versus mole fraction of component B mole fraction of B or x B x goes from 0 to 1 ok. So, when x B is so you get some kind of this this type of plot you can expect ok suppose ok suppose you are getting this kind of plot. So, ok so you get So, this is the molar volume ok and then basically you can draw ok. So, you get this is V m of component A and this is V m component B ok. So, for this value x p you can like get like this ok. Then we calculate partial molar Gibbs function ok. So, we know mu y is del g by del n i at constant pressure temperature and when n i is not equal to n j ok. And we have we have used here ok binary mixture of a and b. So, total Gibbs function of the mixture the total Gibbs function of the mixture we can write g is number of moles times of a times mu a plus number of moles of component b times mu b right okay so if we differentiate on differentiating we get d g is n a times d mu a 
plus mu a times d n a plus n b times d mu b plus mu b times d n b right. Okay. And if you go back and check and we, we already obtained d g we know d g is nothing but mu a times d n a plus mu b times d n b. Okay. Now, since g is a state function, so we can write, so since g is a state function, we can write n a times d mu a plus n b times d mu b equals to 0. Okay. Or in general you can write sum over i n i d mu y is 0. Okay. And this is known as this is known as Gibbs Duhem equation. Okay. Okay. So next we consider chemical potential of liquids. Okay. So, next we consider chemical potential of liquids. Okay. For a pure liquid, In equilibrium with vapor, we can write mu a star liquid So, for a pure liquid, suppose we have liquid A pure, then we can write mu A liquid equals to mu A naught plus R T L N P A. Okay. And for solution, we can write mu A liquid is nothing but mu naught A plus R T L N P A. And if we combine these two equation, so combining these two equations, we can write mu A liquid R T mu star L plus R T L N P A by P A star. Hmm. Okay, so, what is so this ratio the ratio P A by P A star is nothing but mole fraction of component A. Okay. or we can write P A is X A times P A star and this is this is known as Raoult's law. We have already studied 
Raoult's law. Okay. So, it follows that the chemical potential thus the chemical potential of liquid you can write mu a l is mu a star l plus r t l n x a. Okay. So, this equation or this important equation is the definition of ideal solutions. Okay. So, alternatively we can say alternatively we can say that an ideal solution is the one in which all the components obey the Raoult's law. Right? We already studied this thing. So, if we plot mole fraction of A versus pressure ok. So, we get we can get a plot like this. So, when x a is 0 this is nothing but P b star right and when x equals to 1 this point x equals to 1 this is nothing but P a star. Now, if we join these two line this represents partial pressure of component A. So, this is nothing but partial pressure of component A and if we join uh, these two line these two points ok. So, it is not drawn in proper manner, but you get a straight line kind of thing here. So, uh, this is partial this represents partial pressure of B. Okay. And total pressure is this one, this is nothing but total pressure P is P A plus P B. Okay. So, how total pressure is changing as we change the composition of the mixture. Okay. In ideal solutions, in ideal solutions, the solute as well as the solvent, as well as the solvent obeys 
obeys Routes law. But in some cases, in ideal solution, in ideal solution, the partial pressure of solute is proportional to the mole fraction mole fraction but the constant of proportionality is not the pure component vapor vessel. But a constant known as Henry's constant. You already studied that Henry's constant k h or you can write k b also if you want ok k b ok write it k b. So, p b is k b times x b ok and this is known as Henry's law this is known as Henry's law. Okay. Next we consider okay, next we consider next we can also plot actually we can plot uh, Henry's law. Okay. So, if we plot Henry's law So, we are changing mole fraction of B here and this is pressure P okay. and then we can draw like this. Okay. This is nothing when x B equals to 1 the pressure is nothing but Henry's constant k b ok and you get like this one. So, this is ideal dilute solution this is for ideal dilute solution ok and you get like this. Okay, so this is how we can plot Henry's uh, law here. Anyway, next we discussed okay excess functions. Okay, so in real solutions, real solution means the solution that do not obey Routes law. Okay. So, for Routes so real solutions have different molecular interactions different molecular interactions between 
a a b and b b particles right particles as a result we get delta h is not 0 delta v not 0 ok. Suppose delta h is positive ok and delta s is negative ok. In that case since delta g is delta h minus t delta s. So, we get delta g is positive ok. So, the liquids are the liquids are immiscible. Right. The thermodynamic properties of real solutions can be expressed in terms of excess functions. Okay, so, the thermodynamic properties of real solutions are in generally expressed in terms of excess functions. Okay. For example, for entropy change for entropy you can write excess entropy is delta s makes real ok minus delta s makes ideal so we get you now if we substitute delta x mix ideal by the expression we already derived. So, delta is so S e or excess entropy is nothing but delta is mix real plus a n r x a l n x a plus x b l n x b. Okay. So, we in this context we can in this context or in this regard the concept of regular solution solutions is very important. Okay. In these solutions, H e is not equal to 0, but S e is 0 ok. So, so for uh, the concept of regular solution is very important ok and for these solutions excess enthalpy is not equal to 0, but excess entropy equals to 0 ok. Thank you.